An unwelcome visitor at the high school is taken to jail. On Tuesday, Dylan Emery had his driver's license revoked. Then Wednesday, he crossed the line with security guard Big Tony Brown at the Campbell County High School. And now this evening, Emery's in the county jail. The police report details that the 18-year-old, who is not a Camel County High School student, drove his small SUV onto the high school campus Wednesday morning, telling Brown at the Brown Guard Shack that he was going to eat lunch with his girlfriend. Brown instructed him to leave the campus. Instead, Emory proceeded to the La Follette parking area of Campbell County High School and then circled back toward the four lane where Brown stopped him. A school resource officer then confronted Emory who told the officer that he came to talk with someone in the guidance department. Dillon explained that Judge Joe Ayers revoked his license for a year over a DUI driving under the influence charge and told him not to drive. The officer then searched his vehicle and found what appeared to be marijuana along with five bottles of beer. Since he was driving on a revoked driver's license, his Chevy Blazer was seized and he was taken to jail. It was a great year for the Pine Mountain Longbeards chapter of the National Wild Turkey Federation who recently received an award for the best special event hunt for 2013. Held at the end of April each year, the Wheeling Sportsman Hunt is for handicapped hunters and wounded warriors or wounded war veterans. The local nonprofit chapter has been holding the hunt since 2005. According to Pine Mountain Longbeard's president, Billy Ball, the award is given by the NWTF, and out of all the Wheeling sportsman hunts in the nation, last year, Campbell County's was the best. The award was given to the Pine Mountain Longbeards at the annual banquet held in Nashville in mid-February. According to Ball, the NWTF looked at the quality of the overall event as well as the quality of the hunt itself when deciding on who to give the award to. Some of the things which make the Pine Mountain Longbeards hunt better than others is what they do for the hunters. The event starts off with a fish fry and a welcome party on Friday evening. For many of the participants, especially the war veterans, the hunt is as much about healing and friendship in the outdoors as it is for bagging a turkey. A lot of the wounded warrior participants are part of HUA, a program designed to encourage wounded veterans to participate in outdoor activities to help in the healing process. Many of the war veterans come from Fort Campbell in Kentucky. During the wounded warrior hunt, each hunter is matched with a guide who helps the hunter if they have special needs while out in the blinds. Activities for the hunters continue with lunchtime entertainment. Last year, the Elk Valley Honor Guard was on hand, along with retired General Carl W. Steiner and the National Wild Turkey Federation President Sam Mars. Last year's hunt included 25 individuals. Out of those 25, 10 got their turkey which is another factor which looked at by the NWTF when deciding who the award recipient will be. We try to make it a good experience for them, something they will always remember, Ball said. The Pine Mountain Longbeards Hunting Heritage Annual Fundraising Banquet is slated to begin at 5 p.m. tomorrow, March 8th, at the Ball Farm Event Center located at 2107 Carl Steiner Highway in La Follette. Meal tickets can be purchased before the event. Tickets to the event are pre-sale only for reservation purposes. For more information, 
Contact Ball at 423-871-2200. Cougar Baseball opens its season Monday at Powell. Join David Graham and Joe Monroe for all the fun on the radio, 1450 WLAF. That's Monday at 530. Logan Hickman of People's Bank of the South will also be a part of the broadcast team on select games. Local ball games, the state basketball tournament, and now the state legislature is on the list of venues where resident songbird Halen Willis has performed the national anthem. The La Follette Elementary School student opened the Thursday morning session at the state capitol with her moving rendition of the national anthem. We're paying more attention at the pump this evening. For the second day in a row, gasoline prices are up here in Campbell County. We're now paying three fifteen for a gallon of regular unleaded gas, the highest price locally since it was three sixteen back on October 23rd of last year. The lowest price for gasoline in Campbell County for the new year to date was two ninety nine back on February 3rd. Prices have ranged from that low of two ninety nine to today's high price for the year so far at three fifteen. And we want to leave you with a reminder this is the weekend we switched to daylight savings time, so before you turn in tomorrow night, remember to set your clocks ahead one hour. That will ensure you will be on time Sunday morning and not an hour late. Even though we lose an hour of sleep, we gain an hour of daylight in the evenings. Sunrise on Sunday will be at 7.59 a.m., while the sun sets Sunday at 7.39 p.m. So don't forget, spring forward. And that's a look at the news. We'll be right back with the press release from the Sheriff's Department coming up. Senior Citizen Insurance, simply the best life insurance for seniors in Tennessee. These days we know you're bombarded with phone, mail, online ads every day trying to sell you insurance. You don't need an oversized insurance policy. You only need enough to cover burial and medical expenses, legal fees, and unpaid bills. You'll breathe easier knowing your family will be protected and your final expenses will be paid. And this insurance is guaranteed. The premium is fixed. It will never go up. The coverage is effective immediately. This insurance is permanent lifetime coverage. Your policy will never go up in cost and will never run out. There's no medical test, no blood test. Just answer a few simple questions and that's it. Senior Citizen Insurance has the best prices anywhere. 865-269-4010. 865-269-4010. And tell them Ron sent you. Senior Citizen Insurance has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and has never had a complaint filed against it. Senior Citizen Insurance. And taking a look at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department, eight people have been booked into the county jail in the past 24 hours. Wayne Preston Creighton, 37, of Clinton for possession, of a Schedule Six controlled substance, theft of property under $500, and criminal trespassing. 36-year-old Karen Lynn Dopel of South Highway 25W and Jellicoe for theft of property under $500. Clifton W. Howard, 52, of Broad Street and Jellicoe for aggravated assault by domestic violence. 33-year-old Jason E. Laxton of Oneida for theft of property between $500 and $999, forgery, and on a hold for another agency. 30-year-old Franklin Lamar of Shawnee Drive in Jacksboro on a KPS bench warrant. Leisha Elaine Massengill, 51, of Pinecrest Road in Jacksboro on a KPS bench warrant. 49-year-old Tammy Lynn Perry, listed as homeless in La Follette, was picked up on a hold for another agency. And last today, Benjamin Aaron Watkins, 25, of College Park Road, La Follette, for possession of a Schedule IV controlled substance, possession of drug paraphernalia, 
failure to give a signal, failure to maintain control of a vehicle, and violation of the Tennessee financial law. And that's a look at the end of the week edition of the news. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget, have a great weekend, and we'll catch you back here Monday evening. We sing happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, oh, oh. This is your birthday song. Oh, oh, oh. Celebration all night long. Oh, oh, oh. May all you hey, Big Josh, on this Friday with your birthday and anniversary clubs. Our birthday and anniversary club is brought to you by your friends here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. Hey, friends, try some of that pizza at Eastside and also some of the other great foods that they had there. And you'll be glad you did. When you stop by, tell them you heard about them right here at WLAF. Today's birthday is Wayne Jones is celebrating. Happy birthday to you, Wayne. And Regina Branham is having a birthday. Happy birthday to Regina. Brady and Brianna Rutherford are 11 years old today. The twins are. And Linda Berry is celebrating. Happy birthday to you, Linda. Clifford Ogg is having a birthday today. Happy birthday to you, Clifford. we got some belated birthdays, too. Uh, Tim Ellison celebrated yesterday. Happy belated birthday to you, Tim. Anna Hatfield had a birthday Saturday, last Saturday. Happy uh, birthday to you, Anna. And I don't usually do this, but uh, on Sunday, Mr. Abraham Lincoln Coleman will be 83 years old. Happy uh, birthday to you, sir, come Sunday. And we hope all of you are having a great day and had a great day. Our anniversaries today, Dr. Clarence and Jane Duncan celebrate 61 years of marriage. Happy anniversary to you, Jane and uh, Dr. And David and Sabrina Lowe celebrate today. Happy anniversary to uh, Sabrina and David. And we want to wish everybody that's having a birthday or an anniversary today happy birthday or happy anniversary. We want you to have a good day. But listen, in order to qualify for the drawing uh, to win a, a birthday dinner for two or an anniversary dinner for two, we need your name on our list, and we'd love for you to get it in here. And if you send it in a little late, we're okay with that, too. And we want to congratulate this week's winners, our anniversary winner, uh, Denise and Wendell Ward. Congratulations, Wendell and Denise uh, and Brandy and Brianna Rutherford, 11-year-old uh, twins. Y'all have won a birthday dinner for two from your friends here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and also uh, Wendell and Denise Ward have won an anniversary dinner for two from your friends here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. Well, I've took enough time and messed enough things up, but you all have a great, great weekend, and good Lord willing, we'll see you here again on Monday at about this same time.